So the ingredients required are for the sauce, we require tomato sauce, one can. Chicken broth, one can. One clove of garlic, finely chopped. Two tablespoons of flour. Two tablespoons of Mexican chili. You can substitute it for any other chili. One teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon of garlic salt. And one fourth cup of oil. The ingredients required for the chicken are two chicken tenders sliced, two teaspoon of corn flour, two tablespoon of Mexican chili. You can use any other chili. We need half a lime juice, some cumin, around one teaspoon, half a teaspoon of garlic salt, one fourth cup of oil. Other ingredients required are fresh tortillas, half onion chopped and shredded cheese. Over here I'm using Mexican style. You can use any cheese available. So let's start preparing our dish. So let's start with our enchilada sauce. I'm going to set my heat to medium. Then add in my oil. Wait for the oil to be a little warm. And now we'll be adding in our flour. Our garlic. And our chili powder. Just stir this together. Now you can see the sauce has started bubbling and this lovely color. So now we'll add a chicken broth. Allow this to come to a boil. Now, as you can see, our uh, sauce is boiling. We'll add in our tomato sauce. And our garlic salt, around one teaspoon. And one teaspoon of cumin. Stir this all together. So it has been around five minutes uh, that my sauce is cooking and you can see the color and you can even see that it has reduced a little. This is what you want your sauce to look like and the consistency. So right now I can switch off my flame and let's start uh, preparing our chicken for the enchiladas. So let's start with marinating our chicken. For this, in our chicken, we'll add the Mexican chili the corn flour, cumin, this is around one teaspoon. Now I'm adding around half a teaspoon of garlic salt because uh, there's salt in my sauce also, but it totally depends upon your taste. And then I'll squeeze in some lime juice. Mix them all together. Mix it well. 
and see to it that each chicken piece is coated well with the mixture. And let it sit aside till you heat your oil. To medium. Wait for the oil to warm up. So now our oil is hot. We'll add in our chicken. Allow the chicken to cook on one side and then turn it around. Try to separate all the chicken pieces that are stuck together so that they cook evenly. It has been around 3 to 4 minutes and our chicken has been cooked from both the sides. So at this point, we'll remove our chicken into another plate. Look at the color, it's so lovely. And in the same oil, we'll add in our onions. So it goes in our onions. We'll just saute those onions till they are translucent, uh, but we want that bite to be in them, so we don't want to overcook these onions. So our onions are done now, you can see that they are cooked but uh, not overdone. So this is how the onions should be. So let's just switch off our flame and remove our onions. And before starting our preparation and assembling our enchiladas together, Let's put our oven on boil. So you can see here I've put my oven on broil. We need the, the oven to be on broil because we want the outer layer of our enchiladas to be crispy and brown. So let's start with assembling our enchiladas. The first thing we need to do is heat our tortillas. So here is a tortilla. Just put it on flame and heat it on each side for hardly one or two minutes till it gets warm. Now our tortilla is hot, so we'll start filling on it. First of all, we'll take little onion, place it in a straight line. Now take our chicken Add our chicken pieces And top this with our enchilada sauce Not much, just a little bit Now, if you like cheese, like me, I like to put it inside my enchiladas also. So it makes it very cheesy and it just melts in your mouth. So I'm adding a little bit of cheese. Now we'll be rolling this. So take one end of your tortilla, push it a little bit behind and roll it. A perfect one. And we'll place it in a baking dish. So here it goes. You want the side that was open down, and here it goes. Like that, we will be assembling all our tortillas. So you can see here we have assembled our tortillas, and on this, we'll be adding the same sauce. Just pour it upon your tortillas. 
till it covers each and every tortilla. Here it goes. Oops, I'm dropping some. Okay, that's perfect. Let me quickly find this. And now we'll be topping it up with our cheese. So our dish is ready. Let's put it in our oven. I like to keep it on the topmost rack. So that the cheese will get nicely brown. Now we'll wait for another one or two minutes and check up on our dish. So it has been two minutes and I think my enchiladas are ready. Let's remove it. Oh yes it is. So that's it. This is how it's made. Enjoy.